located at one of Nairobi's most buzzing malls is Ballpoint. Uh, Ballpoint Social Club is a space with uh, ping pong, pool, uh, the Atari Pong game, as well as a lot of board games. Welcome. One of Nairobi's edgiest spaces. Bringing a new concept into the market like Ballpoint and Ozone, which are both one of a kind uh, and ent in new entries into the market, meant that we had to establish a benchmark. So coming out with a concept and anticipating what it will, how it will be received, I think there was a little bit of uh, interest, excitement. We felt that bringing a high energy space into the recreation concept was uh, appropriate and it's been extremely well received. So I think having the space so well received meant that it also meant that our customers were proud to be a part of the experience and there was a lot of high energy related to participating in that activity. The Ballpoint Social Club is a fun and creatively designed space with a bar and gaming space. We were very lucky to be able to collaborate with artists on the space, bringing in a lot of colors and a lot of life that we felt was relevant to the market and relatable. This space that was reminiscent of a Nairobi street style um, meant that we're embracing the urban lifestyle that uh, we are all so familiar with. And that's something that has been a common thread in Village Market's development, is nostalgia and familiarity. We strongly believe that Village Market has established its place in the city streetscape. And having our spaces representative of the urban setting are important to acknowledge. Embracing the community is very important, so embracing and, and acknowledging. Um, knowing that our spaces are part of the social infrastructure of the entire community. We actually reached out to the actual artists and invited them into the space to participate in a place where we believe they could actually have a permanent um, signature on, on what that experience is. The ballpoint combines comfort food, drinks and an array of gaming options under one roof. So it's, it's a lot about building in experiences. And I think a lot of our very loyal patrons of the mall, they have built very different memories within the center over their lifetime. So we are excited to be able to keep on bringing out concepts which evoke different emotions and bring memories about the spaces that they, that they experience. There are not too many places in Nairobi that have this feature. A very unique, it's very identifiable, and it's such a subtle element that brings in a lot of value into your experience. Part of our concepts have always been to bring in a reality of the a reality of what we're exposed to in everyday life, which isn't always organized. It's, uh, you still feel like you belong, and the sense of belonging is always a large part of bringing people back to a space. The decor at the ballpoint is vibrant and quirky. Ballpoint has taken threads from the Nairobi streetscape. It borrows inspiration from fabrics, colors, painting and uh, materials that are very familiar to us used in a highly designed space. So we are very proud of a lot of our spaces as being well-designed spaces that are relatable. This is the lounge space and the outdoor dining has beautiful views of uh, the sunset and uh, overlooking Karura Forest, the city streetscape. So it's a great place to wind down and uh, enjoy some games with friends. We have hosted a lot of birthday parties, corporate events, some shows, which we're really looking for an engaging and vibrant space in order to bring people together. And now when, when I see it buzzing in the evening, particularly for groups and for corporate and um, kind of performances, 
I, I see it really as a suitable space for people to come together. All we need are interesting spaces to bring people together. And it's the spaces that define sometimes how we interact with each other. So a space like Ballpoint is very clearly, it's trying to say come and have fun and socialize. As you walk through the doors, you are greeted by a sculpted metal man scrubbing himself in a bathtub full of ping pong balls and a beautiful multicolored glass wall that screams fun, versatility and vibrance. At the foundation of what we've created and continue to create are some basic values. That is our community, the experience, the family values. That's what we believe the creating memories in this space as a lot of our generation have done from when we were children are an important element of building that social infrastructure. Innovation and disruption are important to pushing the boundaries of what's currently available, but it's also activities that we believe that Nairobi and Kenya are very ready for. Kenyans are plugged in, they're very aware of global trends, and they're ready to have access to what's available globally and we're excited to be able to bring as much of that to the region as possible. Huge Kitenge fabric lampshades hang from the ceiling and above the windows are murals of famous Nairobi streets. It was important to bring in some of the names that we're also familiar with because there's a light bulb that goes off when you see something that's familiar uh, in a space. Haraka Haraka Haina Baraka is a saying that seeing it here reminds me that of where I am. And I think that's right. We don't have to be transported to another place, another country. One could therefore say that the space has a heavy Afrocentric theme. And where we're trying to elevate our spaces to is it feels like it's Kenya, and that's a very good thing. So you'll see there's a lot of um, fabrics that are nostalgic also with the fashion culture that is very ingrained into popular Nairobi culture. The space has a wide array of games such as ping pong, dance, pinball and the gamuts. This ballpoint as a space is targeting a little bit of an older clientele and the idea behind that is again bringing a global concept of ping pong bar bars and lounges into the Nairobi streetscape. So it's starting to mix a fun activity with a social activity. The Atari Pong game is based on um, an arcade game that was from the uh, early childhood of lo a lot of us remember Atari as one of the first arcade games. So we felt it was appropriate to bring it into real life and we have the real Atari game here to play. So the concepts are relatively basic in terms of how to play it. <laughs> the games that you can find at Ballpoint are probably, it's probably one of the largest variety of game centers um, that we have. The games that you, you find at Ballpoint are bring in nostalgic elements of um, home board games. We believe that this also brings in part of what we're seeing in the shared economy. So as you know, with uh, ride sharing apps and shared working spaces, why, you know, we're also opening ourselves up to shared board games. Uh, and you don't need to have all 30 board games at home anymore. You can now visit Ballpoint and participate in a game that you might not have at home. Amongst the pong, table tennis and pool tables are lounge chairs and other seating areas. A lot about this space was bringing in colors and the Nairobi streetscapes. So you can see the murals are representative of what we are so familiar with. Bringing in Instagrammable spaces into our environments uh, is recognizing something that's become a large part of our culture of enjoying our time and spaces is the interaction and posting it onto social media. So we're very supportive of 
bringing in beautiful spaces that people enjoy being photographed in. Ping Pong is very well received. We're extremely proud to have a ranked Kenyan ping pong player as part of our team. Uh, he's a fantastic asset to the team and he, along with other team members, have really embraced the culture that we're trying to share as a family with our customers. Uh, basically, I, can, I do coaching here. Um, I coach kids, adults, any age. Uh, literally, I do trick shots, you know, just to pull in a crowd into the place, have fun with it, and then try to do some fun challenges with clients. Um, I can play them with my phone, with a mini bat, you know, try different things to excite them. I get a lot of attention for it, um, and people get shocked, which is what I'm looking for. I get that wow factor from them, and uh, they really seem to enjoy it, so it's a crowd puller. Being a social space and, and the restaurant at Bowl Point does serve the other recreation outlets. We felt that this is the center of keeping people engaged over time. So uh, unlike a lot of our other activities which are time-based, so you're in, you're in Ozone jumping for an hour or you're bowling for a set of games or you have one race at uh, Rev Formula One, at ballpoint, you can continue uh, unrestricted. And one part of being able to, to feel, make people feel comfortable to stay is to host them and to serve them food. Ballpoint predominantly serves mouth-watering finger foods such as sandwiches, wraps, and pizza that one can easily enjoy as they play some indoor games. All the food is locally uh, purchased. Some of the items on the menu, we have pizzas, we have uh, sliders, we have chicken nuggets, we have nachos, and we have uh, fish and chips. Today we're going to make a, one of our signature dishes, that is chicken choma pizza. I have some tomato sauce, tomato concasse, I have some uh, chicken on barbecue, I have some sweet corn, I have some mozzarella, fresh basil, and some oregano, and the pizza dough. So first you start with some tomato concasse as a base. Then the chicken choma. I have some sweet corn. Mozzarella cheese. Then you finish off with your fresh oregano. This should bake into seven minutes time on your oven. Yeah. Our pizza is ready. Bon appetit. tucked into a corner by the darts area and the terrace provides some amazing views of Nairobi city. We have several cocktails, more than 10, but our most moving cocktail so far is called the Loop the Loop, of which is made with bifita pink, some spice, we have the grapefruit flavor in it, 
some pitch, so it's a variation of gin and tonic. It's about bringing out flavors, of which before we start the restaurant, we did, we did some training, of which we sampled, the, the drinks were okay, like from that there is nothing. Every guest who samples the cocktail is assured to be to get in the best. So today I'm making for you the loop the loop. Everything we serve via cocktails, they are so cold. You have to use ice cube to make them chill. So I'm doing a shaken cocktail, of which I introduced to my shaker. So in here I will put Bifita Pink. I'm making two cocktails, so that's 120 ml. So from that I promise to do a grapefruit touch, of which I've squeezed it in this vessel. I will do a 60 ml in it. I have to do a touch of citrus. Everyone loves lemons. So just to balance, the, you already asked about how we make our cocktails to be best. So we bring out flavors, to balance them with some sweetness and some sourness to make them stand out. I'll do a dash of sugar syrup. And with me is aquafaba. So this is about bringing the foam on top of the cocktail to make it look more presentable. Then I strain it into your glasses. I top up with tonic water to make it a complete gin and tonic. Then I do some garnishes. In here we call it. It's about talent, showing skills. Also when you come to the bar, there's a bit of twist of mine. I do flare bottles up. At least for the guests to enjoy. I think at the center of our entire recreation offering is, is actually our team. Having our team commit to the, the hosting our guests is incredibly important from a service perspective. Our team has stuck with us in a way that it's challenged a lot of our understanding of how we interact in spaces, especially in a time where people are uncomfortable being in closed spaces relearning and making a safe environment for people uh, has been important. Uh, so, I mean, our, our team has stuck with us during lockdowns, during in-dining restaurant closures. So it's so important that we acknowledge their commitment to also bringing this to what it should be. Ballpoint aims to create a casual space for people to connect, compete, and make fun, long-lasting memories. We've adapted uh, to what, there are what the global advancements are. That includes embracing digital technology as part of our infrastructure of entertainment. Uh, we have a wide range of physical engagement with bowling, ozone, and ballpoint. But we also know that there is a trend towards virtual reality, um, driving experiences that uh, people are ready for, and we shouldn't ignore that. We don't see ourselves competing at a local scale. We see ourselves competing at a global scale at a global level, and that's part of the reason why we try to compete at a global level is we believe that Kenya is ready for it. And having access to all of the facilities that are available globally are, is very important to us. So we feel the need to innovate because we feel that Kenya is ready for it. We also feel that it's a way to stay ahead of uh, an explosion of uh, retail centers around the city and we feel it's also doing uh, a justice to our customer base. We're excited to welcome you. Uh, this, we promise this is an experience that you will enjoy and create many memories that 
many of us have created in the past with the Village Market.